good morning. I've um, I've hurt my left arm, so I can only do right-handed vlogging. <laughs> I've got a tennis elbow. I don't play tennis. It's I don't really use my that arm that much either. Not a lot of waving or directing planes in. I don't know why it hurts. Anyway, we're going to go for a walk because it's the weather is there's about as little weather as you can imagine. It's still it's grey and there's nothing happening, which is good because it's not raining. Hooray! Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlog. So the weird thing is, I thought I'd get the camera out and I'll film autumn. I'm looking through the lens and everything looks green. It's not, I can assure you. Look, this, <laughs> see that's yellow. And those leaves over there are yellow. It's just not very convincing. See, here's some autumn. Look, that's autumn right there. I'm sure you it is definitely happening. And that tree is basically yellow. There's a couple of cottages for sale along here. Or comes for sale. And this one's to let. It's very nice if you don't mind looking at people's legs as they go past the window. Carrying on on the other side. This is all, I mean this floods obviously at high water, so whatever that is, it doesn't mind the water. That boat's a bit knackered. It's nearly back round. There's some of the um, people who are rowing before the back. You can see the colours are starting to come out along the side, but they're not very pronounced yet. So maybe in a couple more weeks, it'll be a bit more dramatic, hopefully. Check out Black Cat here, who's sitting there when I got up in the morning, looked out the window, just came and said hello when I got back in, and now I'm going out to m &S, and he's resumed his usual position. Hello? No? Nothing. This is all that remains of the other chestnut tree that was cut down, but you'll notice it won't be defeated, it's actually regrowing with a tiny little shoot in the middle. So, who knows, there may be another chestnut here. In anything, you know, about 20 years, so watch this space continually for a quarter of a century and you'll find out. Late at night, getting food, since by the family masses. Uh, we, that was um, Joe and Anne's leaving do, which we were just at. It was very dark and it was very hard to film. So, didn't manage to capture a lot. But it's very nice and they're always good fun. So, anyway, we're heading home. Hola. Saturday night, that's all that's going down. The side of something has not been done, but we just go and don't say anything. Jerry's supposed to put it on. No, we're not supposed to say those. That's right. What's that noise? Coming from the feet. Yeah. Oh, you've got a following now, Toby. <laughs> I'm following you on Twitter. This is how Mondays look now. God's sake. It's ridiculous. It's barely been dark, like ye, 10 minutes at the most. I'm getting a cold. I'm not impressed. I'm generally miserable. So, sorry. Happy birthday, dear Happy birthday to you. Are you sure you're not too old to blow that out? Okay, Just about now. got the lung capacity yeah. left. Thanks. Thanks for um, allowing me to um, exist. Exist with this cake on my thirty-third, the first day of my second day of my thirty-third. Do you know how old you year. are? No. Uh, four. Fuck off. Um, <laughs> cheers. I'm not getting this music shit now, so get on with yourself. And then you see that. Do you want me to spray it for you? 
Welcome to Vino's Chemists. Vino has a couple of. This is my favourite right now. Yeah. But a couple of I drugs. Tried these. these are new. <laughs> those are yeah. Those are Boots Own, are they? They're our own brand. Oh wow! This yeah. is the allergy eye. Yeah, they're good. I think they're good. Uh, there's also we got oh, the. Pa- like a background <laughs> of paracetamol. <laughs> a background of paracetamol. It's a strong paracetamol. Uh, with this, probably every four hours. Um, but you can also just do normal value like a probe bed. Um, I got this thing. You've got a really bad headache. <laughs> you need Sindel. This is back in stock now. There's been a manufacturing issue with this. Um, I've also got a lot of. Oh, yeah. I've got swollen ankles, so. Some Anything and else? I've got itchy, irritable eyes, so I'm just using a bit of eye mist. And for the itchiness, I've also got some <laughs> allergy medication. Basically, the reason that boot shares are up is single handedly because of your actions this morning. Oh, I've also got my personal favourite. <laughs> this is good shit. Adrian likes these. This is your dick for so what we have here is we have a drug dealer, drug addict. This is how these relationships start. The dependency, the, uh, the pushing, the active, active pushing. And, you know, it's, this is inevitably going to end in, you know, probably prosecution and the priory. That's how I, I would say it. And severe addiction. <laughs> Welcome to the Persian restaurant. It's a fun. It's very nice. I can smell the fresh bread he's cooking over there. That's a bread oven. There we go. Lower Richmond Road. That's it. It's a fun. It's very nice. You should go. Totally. Bring your own and all that. We finally at a reasonable hour. So now we have time to do things like contemplate desserts and <laughs> and get home before it's too late. It is a very misty day in London today. There's a man over there wearing only the Union Jack outfit and clearly lost his mind. Uh, the new Leicester Square Carlisle cleaning toilet. Um, they've now, you know, boarded that all up with the fountains and what have you. I don't know quite what's happening. I presume they're going to restore it. It's in a bit of a state. And I don't know what they've done with William Shakespeare, who was there, where that silver pole is. So, who knows? Maybe they're turning into a theme park. You never really can keep up with these kind of things. Hello. Today we should call this sick vlog. Mainly because I'm not very well. Seems obvious, really, doesn't it? Right, I need food. As you can see, autumn is totally here, but unfortunately, because it's really windy, most of the leaves have come off. Because there were some really good colours and whatnot. I was hoping to see some this weekend in the gardens. We may still, but this horrible breeze that seemed to have brought illness with it. And so Rick was off for three days last week. Fino's been off for a couple of days this week. I'm feeling pretty horrible today. Thought I could get away with staying indoors. Then I realised I didn't have any food. <laughs> oh well. Don't get one over. That would be worse. Hello again. Excuse me, I think I've eaten an apple too quickly. Anyway, um, I'm feeling a little bit better. So hopefully I should be back tomorrow. I'm going for a walk because I haven't really been out apart from to buy a bit of lunch. And it gets dark quite early, so I figured I kind of have to go now, or else I won't get out at all. Squirrels dive bombing me. Um, and anyway, I haven't had I, my usual kind of walk in in the mornings where we get to have a, you know this little, this little dialogue where you sit there bored and I talk at you. So I figured um, I probably need to do a sort of update. Just checking the ivy I was trimming a couple of weeks ago. Actually, actually worked. <laughs> Seems to have. Um, anyway, so yeah, come with me on my little walk around the block and I'll fill you in on what's going on in the world if I can stay on my feet long enough. 
Right then, update time. There's a dog looking me square in the eyes. Put you off somewhat. Um, okay then, so I've been working in the radio industry professionally for about 10 years. I think I started properly on the 1st of January 2003 or somewhere around then. And I was sort of doing bits on and off from sort of August 2002. So it'll be my 10th year, I suppose, in January. And over the years I've done all sorts of things, produced all sorts of people. Done most of what I kind of wanted to do. Worked broadly where I wanted to work. I've kind of reached a bit of a impasse, I would say, career-wise. I've got to a point where if someone were to ask me what would you like to do next? Or whom would you like to work for next? And they were expecting an answer that involved radio. I wouldn't have a satisfactory answer. So, that's why I'm kind of in the process at the moment of trying to work out what it is I want to do next. I think a lot of you who know me will probably guess roughly what that is. Anyway, suffice it to say, I haven't made any firm commitments one way or the other. Oh, there's my hair by the looks of things. <laughs> but um, at some point in the near future, I should be able to give you more of an update as to exactly what I might be doing. And uh, hopefully it'll mean there's a bit more of this kind of time. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Certainly nothing is going to occur dramatically before Christmas. There you go. That's where I'm up to.